Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to create and use ISO files to install and play Final Fantasy VII PC. Um, be sure to check out the website as there's a lot of great information that will be useful to you. Today's tutorial um, also has a text guide that is in the game info section of the website um, which is going to be useful to you if you're going to be having any other problems so you can refer to it if, if you need to. Um, so, ultimately, the first thing that you need to do is download Ultra ISO. Um, I'm recommending Ultra ISO because it's the one that I'm, I'm, um, I basically use the most. Um, obviously, you're, you're free to use Demon Tools or CD Clone or whatever else you need to be, whatever else you need, you, you feel comfortable with. Um, so, once you've downloaded Ultra ISO, um, launch it and, um, stick your CD into the CD drive and then um, locate the, f the drive that your CD is in so for instance mine's in drive F um, highlight all its contents and drag it up into the top right box now once you've done this what you need to do is you need to go to file new data CD DVD image um, <clears throat> it's going to ask you to save it so save and be sure to um, name it the exact same way as the actual CD. So, for instance, this is disk three, just to, to as an example. So, FF seven disk three. So, once you've done that, just save it where you need to. Um, <clears throat> and once that's done, it should create the ISO disk. Um, let's just do that. Right, so I've already done all of my discs. <coughs> if you see, um, it's called FF7 Disc 3. But alternatively, you can name it as I've done before. It doesn't really matter. So, once you've created um, ISO images of all of your CDs, um, open Ultra ISO again. And there's a button here called Mount to Virtual Drive. So click on Mount to Virtual Drive and find the installation CD. So click on Install and Mount, on the Install CD and Mount. Um, once you've done that, just click on the Auto Play button and you'll find that the install, it will, it will auto run and you can install it now. So install the game. Um, I've already installed mine. So install the game and once you're done, uh, simply find the um, shortcut or fault game directory and launch the game. And um, <coughs> I've already actually loaded the correct CD, I think. So, in fact, no, I haven't. So, basically, you're going to get this message, obviously. So, what you need to do is, if you're starting a new game, you're obviously going to have to put the first disk in, so let's load the first, well I'm going to load the fourth disk because that's the save file I'm going to be loading. Um, so unmount the install disk first and then locate the correct disk, so in my case it's disk 4 which is disk 3 really. Um, and then if you go back to the game uh, it should actually load. Let's just try this. <coughs> it should work now. There we are. And there you have it. We've um, successfully created and uh, installed, and we're playing Final Fantasy VII PC off the ISOs. I must admit, though, the graphics really aren't as good as they can be. Um, I've applied a couple of mods which have been created by the modding community which actually considerably improve the graphics of the game. Um, if you have a look you can see the 3D cloud model is no longer a blocky, chibi, uh, light character. It's actually a 3D character which um, is actually the um, part of the Phoenix Rejuvenation project. That's one mod that I've applied. The other mod that I've applied is the 
FF7 music uh, patch. I've also applied Ali's custom graphics driver. That's why I've actually been able to um, increase the resolution. I'm actually playing in windowed mode right now. So um, that's the other thing. I've also applied Team Avalanche's graphical overhaul. Um, that's another very, very good mod. Um, I will be creating um, tutorial videos on how to install all of these um, mods. But also, if you if you want to download and and uh, if you want to download and apply these to your game, um, be sure to check the website out in the mod section. There is a, a, a great deal of information on all of these things. So, actually, if you have a look at the um, cloud model, you'll notice that it's not actually the original cloud model. It's actually Apps Freak's Apps Freak. Um, he, he created a model, um, his battle model, and it replaces the ori the original one. It's actually higher quality, in fact. Anyway, guys. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching my video. Hope this was useful. Feel free to leave a comment or subscribe, and um, be sure to check the other videos out. Thanks.